How's it going everyone? My name is Shea Wei and welcome to Shea Wei Tech. Today I wanted to do a video kind of explaining a little bit more about iCloud Photo Library and how it can save you storage on your phone, but in a specific way. A lot of people think that you can use iCloud Photo Library to back up your photos and then just delete them. And that's not the case. So let's go ahead and get into it. If this is your first time checking out any videos on the channel, my name is Shea Wei and welcome to Shea Wei Tech. I cover lots of stuff in the tech industry. If you think you find that interesting, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. Specifically today though, I really wanna talk about iCloud Photo Library. So PSA, and to make this as simple as possible, iCloud Photo Library is not a storage service iCloud Photo Library's purpose is not so you can delete photos off of your phone. So we are going to talk about a service that does do this that Apple offers, but iCloud Photo Library is not that, and I wanna make sure that you guys understand what iCloud Photo Library is meant for. So think of iCloud Photo Library more so as a syncing service rather than a backup service. iCloud Photo Library is meant solely for your photos to sync to the cloud, so in the event that your phone is destroyed or you were to uh, submerge it in water or your phone's lost and you were to get a new phone, that those become available, one, across all of your other devices, and two, you're able to sync them down to your new device. Like I said, it's a syncing service. It's not a backup service. It is backing up in a way, in a sense that it is syncing somewhere else and putting the file somewhere else. But if you were to delete a photo from a device that is using iCloud Photo Library, it will also delete it from the iCloud and along with all of the other devices that have iCloud Photo Library turned on. So a lot of people are thinking, so how do I save any space when using iCloud Photo Library? Well, that is because iCloud Photo Library also offers something built into iCloud Photo Library called Optimize iPhone Storage. You can find Optimize iPhone Storage underneath the photo section on your iPhone. And what that does is it keeps a lower resolution of the photo that you've taken on your phone while putting the full resolution photo on the iCloud. And as long as you have space in iCloud, you can put as many photos and videos in iCloud as you'd like, and they will maintain the full resolution, whereas the ones that live on your device are a space-saving version of those photos. If you wanna look into more about this feature, I've added a link down below so you can see directly from Apple the purpose of iCloud Photo Library. So now that we have that out of the way, you probably want to know how you can back up your photos to iCloud and then delete them from your phone. That is possible. It's called iCloud Drive. Think of iCloud Drive very similar to Dropbox or Google Drive or Box, any of these storage platforms. The thing that makes iCloud Drive different is it's accessed in a different way and there's a few ways that it syncs through your devices and the way you access is a little different than you would if you were to have the Dropbox app on your iPhone or something of that nature. To access iCloud Drive, you have a few different ways to do it. So let's say specifically you are on a computer and you wanna access your iCloud Drive as a place to store photos or store files even. You would go to you would go to iCloud.com to access this. You can log on there and see tons of things that are syncing with iCloud, including iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive is utilized by some apps as well, so your first time logging in, you may actually already see stuff in there from like Numbers or Google Chrome or other sorts of apps out there that have been utilizing your iCloud Drive storage. But let's say you wanna access iCloud Drive from your iPad or your iPhone. How would you do that? Well, there's not specifically an iCloud Drive app, and Apple makes this a little confusing in a way. Honestly, it would probably be a lot easier and a lot more straightforward if they did have an iCloud Drive app. But Apple has an app on iPad OS and iOS called Files, and that is how you access your iCloud Drive. The Files app is essentially a place that you can save things directly to the Files app, which links to your iCloud Drive. Anything saved in the Files app is just the same as if you were to go to iCloud.com and go to iCloud Drive. 
they're all the same service, it's just the way you access it is different. So the last way that I wanted to mention that you could access it is if you're using a Mac device, it's actually super simple. The only thing you have to do is go to Finder on your Mac, and over on the left-hand side, you'll see something that says iCloud Drive. Keep in mind, for you to have access to iCloud Drive, you need to make sure that it's enabled on your devices, whether that be on your iPhone under the iCloud section, or on your Mac, making sure that the iCloud Drive button is checked on. So guys, I hope this answered some of your questions on how you can save space on your iPhone or iPad or Mac device, how whatever that may be. As far as storing your photos, iCloud Photo Library and iCloud Drive are two different things. They serve very similar purposes, but depending on your use case and what you're trying to do, you may wanna use one or the other. If you guys found this video interesting, I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button and maybe share it to someone else that may find it helpful, as well as subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future content. We'd love to have you part of the community and interacting in the comment section below. Thanks so much guys, and until next time, my name is Shea Wei, and thanks for watching Shea Wei Tech.